Hey everybody, this is Mad Matt Carter. Thank you so much for watching the AIWF Network YouTube channel as well as the AIWF Ringside Wrestling channel. If you like what you see, please do us a big favor. Hit that like button, hit subscribe, and ring that bell to get notifications every time we post new videos on both our channels. It means a lot to us and thanks a lot for watching once again. It's definitely definitely worth a couple of hot dogs at T's Treats. We're not, <laughs> we're not gonna start giving out free hot dogs, but when no, I tell you, it's a help. List. Hail for Saul. No, um, but it's it's definitely a big big help. So need you. Uh, would love to have you do that for us. So thanks again. Uh, again, like, uh, subscribe, and ring that bell, and leave comments if you want. If you're watching us on Facebook Live tonight, if you got any questions or comments, I think Reagan is gonna be watching the the chat. So yeah. put your put your comments in there and. We will try to address your questions or comments or, you know, whatever. Like Randy Savage said, you ask the questions and I'll answer them one by one. Okay. You know, and so anyway. All right. So we got back to action last night in Mount Airy uh, this past Saturday, whatever, we, depending on when you're watching. Boy, uh, I would call the show a great success. It, it was I was uh, I was nervous going in because we've been off for so many months. I mean, we had the anniversary show, but. Here was the core group, AIWF Mid-Atlantic, back in the saddle again. And, boy, the people turned up. Great yes. crowd. And, and and there was other wrestling not far down the road, and that always worries me, you know. But it did not affect us. And that was – that just made me feel so good. Like, you know, <laughs> the people um, – people want to come see us, they come see us. And so we were glad to have them. Well, and they know I, when they come and see us, they're going to have a good time. Oh yeah, and probably and and get the best food in wrestling too. Ha. I mean, you know that's like a perk. You know, yes, <laughs> the admission is very affordable, and the concessions are the best in wrestling. You know, mm -hmm. ask my child about the funnel cake. So <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't think that ended well, did it? <laughs> she kept it in. <laughs> okay. Just tell let's just too say, much. let's just say a whole funnel cake from Tea's Treats probably should not be eaten by one fifteen-year-old. <laughs> Yeah, that's a lot. It it's is. Share. It's to share, definitely. <laughs> it's, but that's a good thing, though, because you know, you buy in one funnel cake, you can feed at least two people. You know, mm -hmm. oh, definitely, because the portions are so big. And if you get one of those fancy ones with the cheesecake on it or something like that, uh, it's absolutely fantastic. So there's your tease treats plug for this week. <laughs> so, but anyway, I just want to go around the horn, Stephen Hayes. I know you weren't there, but you probably heard some of the rumors and what not from what was going on and get everybody's general opinion and formally welcome Carson Knightley to the AIWF mid Atlantic broadcast team. It's their second show with us. And, uh, and I really like the new setup, Rick Diesel. I'll let you go first. It, it's just incredible. Uh, yeah. Carson, somebody looked at Carson and I last night and said, you guys just have chemistry right out, out of the gate. And I said, well, that's cause she's real good at dragging me along behind her. <laughs> so uh but yeah it's, it, it was really good i'm so glad to have her as part of the team she was you know she, I, she has been or she graduated you know from uh tennessee university and and she's interned with espn mm -hmm. and that really came in uh that came into play it was really helpful she was knowledgeable you know everybody kind of has to get their legs, you know, when they're first coming in. You think you're not going to be nervous when that camera turns on, but you are. Yeah. You know, I was, you know, mm -hmm. when it had been so long since I'd done it. But she done a great job. She uh, kept me on uh, on track, you know. I, I don't know. So ever since somebody told her, somebody must have told her in advance, you know, watch him, he'll go off the rails. So she's done real good reeling me back in when I'd start. So, yeah, I think she's going to be wonderful. Yeah, I do too. Brian Reagan, what were your thoughts about last night? What was your ultimate takeaways from what we saw? Well, like you said, the crowd turned out. Um, they were AIW, I mean, that Mount Mary crowd, and and it's it's one of the best crowds. And and I'm not just saying that like because I've been to other indie shows and I've been to indie shows that have like thousands of people, and they're never as loud as our crowd. Like we, our crowd is just fantastic. But you know why? It's because we put on a hell of a show. Like we, yes. that show last night was was good from um, 
beginning to end. We had some surprises. Um, you know, we had a surprise in return. Um, and we we had some things that may have gotten set in motion that didn't end well by the end of the night. I don't want to spoil anything. Um, yeah, because we got like uh, four weeks of uh, network stuff mm -hmm. in the in the can as uh, yeah. and sort of likes to say. So yeah. I mean, it was I you know it was it was a fantastic beginning of our of our new season. Yes. Yeah, right. it was. It. I, I was. Also, I was a little nervous too about uh, doing a new format. Yeah, you because know, there's there's always going to be when you when you're trying something new like that. There's always going to be uh, bugs and glitches, and 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 there were, but we we got through them and uh, uh, and and put on a great show uh, for the fans that night. And we and I was surprised at how efficient we were uh yeah. last night we we had eight matches and but we got started on time and we were we were we were done before 10 o'clock I mean, we gave them a good show with the, a good you know a good amount of wrestling but it was just like bam 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 and you know it wasn't it wasn't a you know there till 11 30 almost midnight kind of thing yeah, yeah everybody knew their role and done it like a believe it or not, like the machine, like the well old machine, they should be. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And I even got all the way back here to Concord right after midnight, and it, and and I would have got here before midnight had it not been for the debacle that took took place at the Circle K up on eighty nine after the show when I went to get some snacks to come back home. They have. I'm not going. I'm not trying to put the mouth on Circle K, but Circle K, whoever you contracted with to get these automated mach machines in there that's supposed to ring everything up for you when you put it up under the, the thing, you need a refund because those things, I'm going to just say it, they're a piece of uh, shit. And I've not never had an issue with them. Oh, it tried to ring. It was ringing me up $15 over the amount of crap I had last night. It wouldn't take my card. It kept saying I was trying to buy a $15 cell phone charger. I think mm. it was mistaking a, a giant Slim Jim for that. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know of anything else. It was a big ass slim jam. Yeah, but I mean it was so aggravating. I finally just took the stuff in the bag and walked over to the lady and I was like, I need you to ring us up manually, please. That's crazy. I was so mad I was about to just walk out and drive to the one in pilot. Yeah, the one in pilot is that one. I've never had a problem with the one there, and I've never had a problem with the one here in Clemens. Mm. Um, just doxed myself, but yeah. um, strange things were afoot at the circle. <laughs> circle K, K yeah, hey, man, always. We should, that <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, I'm telling you, man, <laughs> but it was crazy. Um, but yeah, it was. It was. We're not going to keep you out all night. I guess is what we're getting at, folks. Mm -hmm. And it was uh, everything ran along so smooth and. Yeah, uh, I was. But for the, the for the amount of matches, I mean, because we got, I don't, you know, we, I felt like we, we may have been a couple of minutes past seven, but we were, right, we were on it set like just a little bit past seven, I think. Matt, you probably keep up a time a little bit better than I do because we were about but, uh, five after, I think. Yeah, <laughs> which, not bad at all for a wrestling show. When's the last time you went to a a wrestling show or a concert for that matter and have it? start exactly when they said it was going to start mm. it, it's been it's been years on a wrestling show and i've never been to a concert that started off no, never, it's so never mind that's off topic never mind hey, uh, the concert you know, we, gets going when it gets going you know yeah yeah even but, though people are suing madonna because they said she came on too late and doesn't think about people that have to work like have you never been to a concert take well, couples it, axel I remember uh, I went to a concert back in the late 90s. It's funny enough, I never thought I'd see Brian Danzig wearing a, a Def Leppard shirt, but it's happening right now. Mark it down. I went to a Def Leppard concert. Now, this is in the 90s, right? So, in late 90s. So, they, it was definitely their era was over, right? Mm -hmm. And you could tell because they were playing the Salem Civic Center on a Tuesday night. And I was at was, that show. Oh, yeah. Do you? Yeah. Then you must remember Joe Elliott. At, at one point during the show, he's like, uh, come on, people, get into it. You know, I'm fucking church, you know, and and uh, 
and some guy, you know, it, it wasn't packed in the area. It was probably about half full, you know, and everybody's just kind of meandering around wherever they wanted to be. And some guy on the floor, close enough to me that I could hear him, said, it's late and we have to work tomorrow, asshole. <laughs> <laughs> That might have been that's you, hilarious. Stephen Hayes. <laughs> it's a good possibility. It's reality <laughs> checks in Salem, Virginia. Who knew? But everybody started in that whole area just started laughing like hell. But you know, but they put on a good show, and Joan Jett mm. was there. She did good too. So yeah, fun night. But yeah, that's a good concert memory. Ah, uh, but 